Hello everybody. I hope you are having a good day today. Uh, today I am going to feature a medium format gel plate. Now this is the gel plate that I featured in my registration video earlier and this measures 12 by 14 and this is a different company that makes this. It's a, called Gel Press and uh, it's a 12 by 14 inch and uh, here it comes in a clamshell package and it has this uh, readout uh, in several languages on how to use it, how to create these uh, cool textures and projects. So anyway, um, I'm going to uh, show you the advantages of having a registration bar or registration gig, jig, and uh, I plan to create a whole series of prints in this size and it will make sense after I'm done why it's, it's important to have all your paper and your plate registered. Um, I'm going to do a whole series the same colors with slight variations and the final result is very consistent um, so you'll understand why it's important to have this uh, registration markers registration bar uh, it doesn't have to be made of wood you can get you can use a plastic yardstick or uh, rulers or foam core whatever material you have available on hand okay so i'm going to get started i'm going to do a general layout of circles on the right side and lines on the left side. This is just a general layout and uh, I'll create some variations. So I'm using a Sharpie to create some circular shapes. And some vertical lines on the left and as usual you have to keep in mind that when the print is pulled this will all come out re in reverse this will be a mirror image so all the lines will be on the right and your circles will be on the left Um, as a background, I'm going to use a light color. I'm going to use this, one of my favorite colors. It's called parchment. It's like a light beige or creamy color. This is brand new. I had to buy a new tube from Michaels. So it still has the protective foil on it. There we go. And since this is a smaller plate, I really don't need to use much. I think that's enough. Just like three drops. And uh, I'm going to 
charge the plate. By the way, I save these uh, these plastic trays. These come in the grocery when you buy vegetables or um, meat, and these are pretty sturdy, and they come in. They fit the uh, brayer exactly, so I save them. So when you're when you're done rolling, you put it roller side up so the paint's not going to make any marks. If you do it this way, you'll have a, you'll have a line and it will show. Okay. Now, let me get rid of these. I'm using for my paper, I'm not using Somerset this time. This is uh, a lighter weight Blick watercolor paper. And it is um, 15 by 22. So it is cut smaller to fit this size. So um, anyway, before I do that, I can't, I have to do this. I just have to do this. It's just a habit of mine and it's like a signature of mine. Okay, here's my Blick paper and I'm going to lay it on my registration device. And since this is a smaller plate, it's so much easier to uh, apply pressure. I feel like I have more control because it's a smaller size. Okay. And then I will step away and wait for about 15, 20 minutes. So I'll be right back. Okay, I'm back from a short break. It's about 15 minutes. And uh, let's see what we got. I think the uh, mark marker has transferred very well. And this, since this plate is not used as often, it is very sticky. And this is like pulling off a uh, duct tape. It's very aggressive. So you have to be careful when you pull your print off. And like I had mentioned earlier, the image is in reverse. There we go. Let me do a wide shot so you can see. Okay. So like I mentioned earlier, 
whatever I do on the plate comes out as a mirror image. And so this is the first pull. And uh, I'm, I'm, I'm quite pleased with it because everything that I had placed on the plate shows up. And uh, the parchment works very nicely to set off the black marker. Okay, that's print number one. I'm going to put this aside to dry even more and continue with my I'm actually surprised that there's nothing left. You know, not, not even a leftover. Again, I'm going to use a little parchment and then do, do a slight variation by adding, I'm going to add cadmium yellow. And, and if you notice, I'm using very little uh, paint because this plate is so much smaller. I think I have an air bubble. Got to let the bubble out. There. So at, at the end of this video, when I show you the whole series of prints, you'll understand why it's important to have proper registration. So I go again with my scribble. oval shapes and marks. We have another, another sheet of Okay, again, I'm going to wait um, about 10-15 minutes before I pull this off. I mean, I mean, you can, if you want to, if you're impatient, you can pull this off right away. But it won't transfer as well. And but all that all depends on your intention. If you want to deliberately have some left over on the plate, by all means you
pull your paper off right away. But in this case, I want to show you how to create a whole series of similar prints. Or a suite, as they are called. When you have a suite of prints, they are all related either in color or in size or in subject matter. Okay, be right back. Okay, let's see what we got. Let me just get these guys out of the way. Very good results. Now this second pull has tr slight traces of the first series of marks. So they're like, you'll see a shadow, like uh, some ghost images in the, in the background. So that makes it a, a bit more interesting. You have the primary marks and then you have secondary marks as little shadows or little ghost uh, traces. Okay, so that's print number two. Let me again do the same layout, more or less, of circles. So it's all variation of a, a basic theme of circles and lines. It's a very simple, basic design that anyone can do because it's not complicated. Uh, there's no intricate markings of any kind. So again, I'm going to use this parchment Okay. And then this time instead of cadmium yellow, I will use caramel. This is more like a, a raw sienna or a yellow ochre. Okay, again I'm charging my plate. Okay, again, I'm going to do my scribble.
Okay, again, I will leave this for 10 minutes and come back. Okay, let's see what we got. Wow, this is really stuck to the plate. So I have to be very slow and careful. And since this is a thinner weight of paper, the chances of it tearing are greater. There we go. Cool. So this is print number three. Let me do a wide and see. Okay. So uh, let's compare. That's number three. This is number two. And this is the first one. The first one. There's the second one. Oh, the second one seems to have more of a ghosting. And here's the third one. There's some ghosting, but not as much as this one. It's about the same. Okay. So, uh, I'm going to come back and um, apply some collage and complete the uh, picture. So uh, I'll be right back. Okay, I found a whole bunch of uh, colored scraps here in my scrap box. And these are all leftover stencils. Well, some are like this one, the ones with the acrylic paint. They were uh, masks or stencils which I had saved. This is copy paper. Some more scraps, copy paper. This is a warm-up piece on tissue. More copy paper, copy paper. My warm up circles, tissue paper. So I have plenty to work with. I have more than enough. So let me see for the first one. Let me see if I can.
Okay, this is print number two. Setting this aside. And start working on number three. Now, in a way, doing a sweet is more straightforward because you're using the same materials, the same colors, more or less. So you limit yourself to a vocabulary. Um, and then you play around with it. Instead of confusing yourself and your viewer with so many other things, you limit your elements. And I think that's an effective way to proceed. Okay, that is it for print number three. So I'm going to air dry this and then show you the comparison of first, second, and third. And you will see the uh, suite of circles and lines, as I will call it. So I'll be right back. I'm going to turn on my Fan. and let this dry okay finally back from a short break and uh, with the help of uh, my fan I've been able to air dry this and I did clean up my table a little bit so I can spread these out. So this is the first print. Okay. This is the second print. And I hope this will fit in the camera frame. This is the third print.
So you see all three images all at once and then the uh, background is always in the, in the center in the same place thanks to the registration um, Let me um, do a close-up. You can see the detail. So this is print number three. Here is the second print with the cadmium yellow and the white or parchment rather. And then this is the first print, which is just with a parchment background. You can see the, uh, the scribble texture in the background. So the scribbles the scribbles connect all these elements together as, as well as the lines and circles. So that is my, my suite of circles and lines. I hope you liked this video, quick demonstration on how to create a series of prints with similar elements. And uh, if there was a need for making an addition, let's say 10 or 15 copies, I will be able to do that because I have my registration uh, bars registration device here okay thank you for watching and i hope to see you next time